What does the state have to prove for boating under the influence manslaughter? Well, they have to prove that the defendant was operating a vessel, and a vessel is just a boat, and at the time his normal faculties were impaired, or he blew a .08 or higher. So the normal faculties were impaired by whether it be alcohol or drugs or some combination. Normal faculties are the ability to see, hear, walk, talk, judge distances, drive a boat, that sort of thing, act in emergencies. Uh, and that is an or, they don't have to prove both. It could be or, normal faculties impaired or 0 0.08 or higher. And then they also have to prove that somebody died and that you caused or contributed to the death. So you don't have to be the sole cause to be convicted of it. You could contribute a small part and then potentially be convicted of that. And a lot of times that is, that's gonna be the argument at trial. Perhaps the other person contributed 100% to their death and the defendant did not contribute it. It didn't cause it. They may have contributed a little bit, but that's that's gonna be the argument typically. Uh, and that's uh, obviously for trial. There may be motions to suppress, fancy lawyer words for a judge throw out certain evidence that violated my client's rights. So if the jury finds that you're guilty of the boating under the influence manslaughter, they're also gonna uh, have to make a finding whether you failed to render aid, you failed to give information, and that sort of thing. So everyone has a duty if they're in some kind of an accident and somebody's hurt real bad to try to render aid, to try to uh, help them out. Uh, until next time, this is Gray from graytesh.com. Remember, law is not black or white, it's gray. If you like this video, Click like and subscribe. Have a great one, y'all.